On Thursday, October 10th, Congressman Antonio Delgado was invited to speak by the Benjamin Center. The event, titled In Conversation with Congressman Antonio Delgado, was held in the multipurpose room. NPC TV's Stephanie Molina shared more about the event. Congressman Delgado sat on stage across from Associate Director of the Benjamin Center, K.T. Tobin, who went through a list of pre-written questions asking him about his stance on certain subjects, such as education, health care, and women's rights. The event was scheduled in a way so that Delgado would answer interview questions for a blocked period of time, and then open it up to Q&A at the end. However, things took a turn when a protester stood up and began announcing concerning climate statistics off of a sheet of paper, interrupting the interview. This protester would be one of many to continue to interject into the interview throughout the evening, each announcing different worrying climate facts and demands for change from Delgado. As a college campus, we value the expression of viewpoint diversity on our campus, but for our student conduct code and ma'am, the protests were held by a group titled Extinction Rebellion, who'd formed to find alternative methods to raise awareness to the climate crisis so that the government can take action. While some of the audience was in full support of the group and even clapped after certain protesters' announcements, other attendees were less than thrilled and felt that the group was solely disruptive. As Delgado attempted to answer some of the climate change concerns, he continued to be talked over by some of the Extinction Rebellion's protesters. The end resulted in several of the group members being escorted out by the police, and KT Tobin had to cut the interview significantly short due to time constraints. Congressman Antonio Delgado had a lot to say at today's discussion. From discussing the dangerous impacts of climate change to the importance of investing in education, no topic went uncovered. And although there was some tension and protest from some of the audience, all in all, the discussion proved to be of importance and beneficial to everyone involved. Reporting from the Atrium, I'm Stephanie Molina for WNPC-TV.